Yo, what's up everybody? Andrew Mahone here. Gonna be cracking a box of Crimson Invasion. It's just what we got lying around right now. Super stoked about Ultra Prism. Gonna be coming out soon here. Uh, at the beginning of February, I was just looking up translations of those cards. I think there's a lot to be excited about um, in that set. And, uh, you know, especially from you know, competitive standpoint, but also just from a collector standpoint, all these Prism Pokemon look super exciting. Like, I think it's a super dope mechanic that they have there. Uh, kind of reminds me a lot of like A-Spex or um, A-Spex, GX Attacks, you know, these things where you can only have one in your deck. So the fact that you can only have, you know, one of the Ultra Prism card in your deck uh, you know, and then it goes to like the Lost Zone when it gets discarded. It's kind of cool. Also, that they're bringing back the Lost Zone all together uh, is super sweet. The Lost Zone is kind of like a defunct, you know, function, uh, defunct function of the Pokemon trading card game. Uh, it existed a little while ago, I think, like you know, maybe 2009 or something, uh, 2008, 2009, 2010, something like that. Uh, in those eras, with like the Heart Gold Soul Silver cards, I know there was like. Uh, like a Gengar that did something with a Lost Zone. There's a Mew. Ooh, starting things off strong with Full Art Lusamine. Awesome, awesome Full Art Supporter card. Can't be disappointed with that. Uh, still, still get excited about, you know, like Full Art Supporter cards, even if it's just Crimson Invasion. Like, you know, I still feel like they're pretty rare, pretty fun to pull. So nice little Lusamine card there. But uh, like I was saying, uh, I feel like the Lost Zone was kind of like a kind of like a neglected uh, mechanic, you know, like it existed, but it was never really all that great. Um, my friend uh, friend Natalie is actually building uh, a deck from an old format uh, where you like use the Mew Prime and like send cards to the Lost Zone and then can use their attacks from the Lost Zone, so, like, that's pretty cool. But I guess the Lost Zone is, like, kind of like a discard pile, but it's not a discard, but you can't access it. There's, like, no way to, like, bring Pokemon back from the Lost Zone, which is why it's considered the Lost Zone and not, uh, you know, not just, like, the, the, the discard pile because there's plenty of trainer cards, things like that, that can interact with the discard pile. Uh, but there are very few things that interact with the Lost Zone. That Mew Prime is one of them. But there are no cards, to my knowledge, that bring Pokemon back from the Lost Zone, hence the name, the Lost Zone. So uh, these Prism Pokemon are very powerful. It seems to me like they are crafted to be used kind of just once, and then, you know, and then when they get knocked out, they get knocked out, and they're, you know, they don't want them to be overpowered. I mean, they are non-EX, non-GX Pokemon, so they're only worth, like, one prize. Uh, but a lot of these dudes have like 160 hit points. I saw the Darkrai has 160 hit points. I think, I think like a lot of them have 160 hit points, which is an insane amount of hit points for a basic non EX, non GX Pokemon. Like that, I think, I think takes the cake for like the beefiest non EX, non GX Pokemon ever released. Uh, previously, I didn't think that there was anything. Uh, greater than 130, so that's pretty wild. Uh, but definitely good that they kept the Pokemon in check, meaning that you can only have one of them, and that you know if they get discarded, then see you later, they're gone. Uh, I do think, oh, there we go, full art executor. Uh, I do think heading forward into the the Pokemon trading card game, it actually, uh, well, there's a little mark there on that energy. That's weird. You see that? Uh, I heard that you know they they might. Yeah, in rotation next year, you know, looking ahead, kind of thinking about the future of the game. Uh, apparently, like, Sycamore and N, you know, like, might go. I mean, Sycamore hasn't been reprinted in a while. And so they may just leave the game without Professor Sycamore. Now, uh, some iteration of Professor Sycamore has been legal, whether it be, you know, Professor Juniper uh, or Professor Sycamore for some time. I think since I've played the game, uh, you know, since black and white, uh, you know, which I've actually started. There we go with a Sil Valley. Uh, Professor Sycamore has been legal, or not Professor Sycamore, but Professor Juniper, which is the same thing. So it would be very interesting to see a format without Professor Sycamore or Professor Juniper, without like a strong discard your hand, draw seven supporter card. Like that would be wild for me to play in a format like that, considering I've never, never 
played in a format like that before. Uh, but if they do do away with the powerful discard draw supporter option, then I imagine that it would be much easier to get away with, you know, playing your one of Prism Pokemon uh, and then not discarding it, you know? So, like, you can probably, you'll have an easier time, you know, waiting for the right moment to play it. Uh, you know, with half of the supporters and players' decks right now being a uh, heavy discard supporter like Sycamore, you know, you imagine, like, oh, well, my bench is full or my opponent played Parallel City and I can't, uh, you know, I can't, get my hand, you know, in a situation where I could bench this, or my board position in a situation where I can bench this prison Pokemon, and now I have to Sycamore it, and then it's gone. Oh my gosh, we've got a Hyper Rare Counter Energy. Check that out. That thing is sweet. Nice hits on this box so far. I'm pretty excited, so sick pull there with the Counter Energy and the Full Art Lucimine. Definitely stoked on that. But uh, like I was saying, you know, I think uh, maybe the future of the game, Prism Pokemon will be easier to kind of like uh, bide your time and wait for the right moment to play them, which is pretty exciting as well. And some of their attacks are just like super powerful. Also, like I know uh, the, what is it? The, uh, the Solgaleo and the Lunala, they both accelerate energy based on how many Pokemon your opponent has in play. So I think that's super cool. Uh, and they just seem like really strong. The Darkrai, uh, there's Darkrai and Giratina as well. They both accelerate energy into play. The Darkrai particularly seems like it could jive really well with other Darkrai decks. There's a Darkrai EX that does more damage for the amount of darkness energy in play. And the Darkrai Prism can just go ahead and accelerate two energy into play just by putting it from the hand to the bench. You know, if you have two darkness energy in your hand, you can attach them to it. So that's super cool as well. Uh, but otherwise, I think like the art looks really cool on the Prism Pokemon. And, you know, I'm definitely excited to be doing those. Speaking of full art supporters, you know, we got full art Lusamine here. Uh, I did see that there's some cool full art supporters coming out in Prism as well. Uh, we've got, you know, like Looker, I saw, and I think Fan Club's getting a reprint, so that's kind of interesting. I at least saw in the Japanese set that there is a Fan Club reprint. Oh my gosh, and then that energy, I've got that energy pulled up down too. It's like the super boost energy or something. Uh, you know, kind of reminds me a little bit of counter energy just with the multiple, uh, you know, multiple energy effect. Uh, however, it's based on the amount of stage two Pokemon that you have in play. So like it's a rainbow energy for stage two Pokemon, but if you have three stage two Pokemon in play, it counts as four double hollow rare. All right. Uh, all right. So let's look at the rest of this box. What do we got? Like five packs left, something like that. All right. Five packs left. We're at four hits. Let's see if we can make this a five or a six hitter box. That would be excellent. I mean, we've got some good... That is a goofy-looking Pikachu. I, I don't know about him. I don't know about him, Pokemon. That, that Pikachu is, like, super goofy. I'm personally an Amolga fan. I think Amolga is cooler than Pikachu. But that's just me. Four packs remaining. Can we get something here? Shelmet and a Staraptor. All right, and Miltank. I love Miltank. I think Miltank is, like, so cool. Three packs. Come on. We need some hits. Just to beef this box up, like I know we've got some good stuff in this box, but still it would be nice just to pad my hit count with, you know, another GX or two would be great. Two pack, maybe it's just a four hitter box, but that's okay. Never give up. Let's see. All right, we got a Houndor and an Orangaroo. Orangaroo. Final pack. This is the one, the only. Will it be a five hit box? And it will! Goofy Tree GX. All right. That's pretty cool. Nice to get that. That is not a hollow. Or uh, not a rare. Double mill tank pack. Oh, yeah. That's it. All right. Thank you all for watching the video. Make sure to like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Uh, all right. I'm out. Deuces.